baby registries are also in jeopardy as babies are us. Those stores begin closing as well as part of all this bankruptcy. Parents today dealing with the fallout and tell ABC Action News reporter Adam Weiner they don't see a good alternative out there. Shelves are emptying quickly as this Babies R Us on West Hillsborough Avenue counts down till it closes for good. Because Babies R Us usually has everything for babies, so it's a little scary. Adelis Rubiani used the Baby R Us registry when pregnant with her first daughter. Now expecting a second, she doesn't know yet where she'll turn. Actually, I was going to do Babies R Us, but then they closed. And then now I have to go all the way to Brandon to go to Bye Bye Baby, which is a di completely different store. Bye Bye Baby is recruiting expecting parents who are currently registered with Babies R Us, but they only have one store in the area compared to three Babies R Us in the Tampa Bay area. Babies R Us says they're not going to be shutting down their baby registries online, at least not immediately, but the stores here that are closing across the country, they're obviously going to be running out of inventory and the sales that they do make at these stores, they are final. They are not accepting returns. Because yeah. I mean, one baby is a money guzzler, so then you have two of them. Yeah. <laughs> Valerie Ramirez just had twins, so even her Babies R Us registry couldn't have prepared her for daily needs. Busy on the go all the time. It's like I'm changing them, and like even now I'm like, I ran out of wipes. I need to go now to the store. And that's why both moms fear online shopping like Amazon isn't going to be a suitable replacement when these stores soon close. It's not always easier because you don't know what you're going to get until you get it. What if it's messed up? Then you have to send it back. And what if you need it right away? In Hillsborough County, Adam Weiner, ABC Action News.